there's always a hawk here. They just love the dead uh, treetop up there. Got hit by lightning about seven or eight years ago. Came here to get a visual aid on or on how this works and we talk about it. This hive was just this box here is about full. These two are empty. The bee just hit my hand. Oops. Uh, these three, oh, another one hit my hand, are full. And that little thing here is the uh, bee escape, which means everything above that has relatively few bees in it, and I could just grab it and go. Later, my wife and I'll come over and uh, we'll go through them boxes we'll frame by frame, and I'll tap the bees off, hand it to her, and she'll send it in, in another box in the back of the truck, and then we'll take it home and extract it. I've got, you can't see it from here. Well, maybe you can. Way over there are the empty supers that are wet. And I'll uh, let the bees clean it up. So I've got it set up to pull three boxes right there. Let's take a walk over here the hawk don't mind. This is all looking good. This hive has two boxes to work on. That hive has two boxes to work on. That one has one full box above a bee escape. Uh, three to work on, it looks like. Over here, there's three boxes I need to at least look at and see if they're ready. Uh, there's four on this one. Now this big tall one over here, I, I can't believe it has a swarm, but it's got four mediums as a brood chamber. It's got tons of space to work with, and I suspect the five boxes on top are probably full or close to full. That hive was kind of a mess when I put it together like that. Uh, it's going to be a mixture of honey from last year and this year both when I extract them boxes just because it was I'm sure there's some like the upper boxes are going to be straight up pure from this year and I'll have to carefully go through that one because you'll find honey that's in frames from two different seasons and some is crystallized and it just gives me the blues when I run into it because the honey comes out clear and then all of a sudden the dark stuff comes and it's just like, ew. It's just goofy, but that's what happens when I had a big stack. Of, I think it was about six boxes with no queen excluder and bees just moved into it. Wow, look how they're bearding up. There's a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot of bees in, that, in there. There's so many that they can't all get in. It's too hot. And it ain't even hot. I've got a couple of little hives around here that where swarms moved in and I'm kind of building it up. I'm gonna work my way back to the truck and just kind of look at stuff. Little hawks are flying around screeching. It's getting kind of dead around here because it just never rains. Oh, I sprayed to make all this die, and some didn't die. I'm gonna have to get in here and burn and get a chainsaw and just clear this so I can mow it. So 
it was like a jungle and I've been fighting it those are nooks the little short one is a failure uh, I don't remember what's going on with this and why it doesn't have another box I need to look through that I guess and see this one everybody's okay I'm pretty sure both sides are marked yep this says failure this says pink pink paint there this was a swarm that moved in I forget if the queen has made it or not something smells sour around here maybe it's pears I think that's what it is pears this hive kind of got messed up I tried I caught the queen and put her downstairs in the bottom box and then after that I never found her again while wow, they're bringing pollen so maybe they corrected their own problem. That's another one I need to check. Let's see. Uh, going through a hive like that's going to take me uh, probably a half hour. And I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm running around doing things, checking things. Got to go to the store. There's the hop. There's one in the tree, and one just flying around. That's kind of cool. Every time I come here, them same two birds are here, I think. It's getting to where all my hives ain't tall, because I've been taking supers off, and then putting empties back, and this and that. This one here was, was a drone layer. I found a virgin queen in there after it swarmed and stuck it in and I don't know, I haven't looked yet. That's the one I need to look at. This one was just kind of always weak. I need to check it. These two are fine, I'm pretty sure. This is a double. This one was weak, but I added bees and honey and it seems to have recovered. This one is, I think, is a failure. This one is successful. I just never marked the queen, I guess. Or marked that I marked the queen. I started keeping notes, and then maybe this one I didn't take notes on. This one as well. I'm pretty sure both are marked here. That's a double. All these double things are my next year's bees. Uh, the big ones, uh, sometimes they make it through the winter, sometimes they don't. It's kind of hard to predict who survives and who lives until spring. The ones you think are going to make it don't, and the ones that you don't think are going to make it do. It's just kind of counterintuitive thing. Uh, every year, you lose some hives. As long as you're building up more, and they're just all over the place here in my yard where I'm building up. This has been a building up year because the, the you know the bee gods determine what I do. Pretty much, they throw me a curveball. I, I build new hives. I had a lot of swarms this year. It was just hard to keep them in boxes even when you had them stacked up tall uh, they just fill it all with nectar and then swarm and then after the swarm they kind of consolidate and get going again it's kind of cool it takes a month for it to happen and you're working on eggshells the whole time but high swarm and then requeen themselves all the time and you don't even notice sometimes until you look and when you got as much going on as I do you don't you ain't looking all the time 
there ain't enough time to do it. And you need help to pull honey and little things all the time. Uh, I'm managing. Getting a box up all the way that high that's full of honey is tough. But when you're pulling, that's kind of what you do is you take it apart, sort, and then put it back together. And I added a couple empty boxes. See, because when you force the bees down out of the supers, they got to have somewhere to go, or else they're all hanging out on the front doorstep and thinking about swarming, or, you know, I don't know. But Boy, this is peaceful. I could sit here and just look up and watch the bees coming in and the ones going out. Boy, and they're hauling in pollen. We still got a honey flow, somewhat. It shut off for a while and then some trees bloomed and now it's on again. But I would say not for long. It is so dry. I just can't believe that bees are working. Stuff like that over there maybe. I don't know. Have a great day. God bless you. Good morning from the bee yard. Bye-bye.